if you would like to, you could possibly cut out a section, maybe through there, just a, a U shape, or not even that quite that deep, even just to below that bar and back up, just enough to be able to put a fish feeder on, or to be able to observe your fish if you wish. Uh, alternatively, you could cut a panel out down through here and put in some clear perspex to be able to observe your fish. Uh, I would prefer to do that, I think, rather than muck around with the integrity of the capacity of the unit, because remember you're down to about 640-odd uh, litres in there. The grow bed there. I'll just get my refreshment out of the way. Um. Mm. Not even touching the sides. Um. Everything is intact. There is no structural weaknesses there whatsoever. The integrity of the IBC is complete. All I've done is gone around and painted up any little rusty patches. There you go. That's all it is. And see, it's not quite resting on that wood flatly, but it will. As soon as you start getting water and stone or hydrogen or whatever in there, that will settle down. And you, you can see the difference between where the steel rod is to where it meets in the middle, it's not touching anything. Now, still to come in here is a 100mm standpipe which is going to go from the bottom of the centre of the lid there down to the floor. And we'll have holes drilled at the top and holes drilled at the bottom. The same as I did for this one and this one. Right, directly underneath the outlet. Got holes at the top there to suck air down and in and create bubbles down the bottom. Same for this one. Holes there. Sucks the water down. Right down to the bottom where there are other holes and then the water comes back out and up again. Alright, so out of the four systems, I think this one will be the more successful because it means that anyone can do it. Kid could do it in an afternoon, just with a few basic tools. None of them are powered. That's the point here. This was to make something that is as easily functional as that, or as complicated as that can be, or that one to something relatively simple to something completely simply easy to do no cutting of steel no grinding no chance of fire nothing cutting of plastic drilling four holes I will admit the drilling of the four holes by hand because this is mild steel it's not um, it's not hardened in any way not that I can tell um, it, the bit, you've got to keep it sharp, um, I, would, I started with a, with a new bit, well it wasn't a new bit but it had been freshly sharpened and it just chewed through it like a hot knife through butter. So that made the job relatively easy. The one thing you do have to make sure though is that the hole that is drilled has to be perfectly in line with this bracket, because this bracket not only is helping to guide that rod but is also distributing some of the down pressure onto this horizontal bar so it needs to be in contact all right so when you initially start drilling have that in place drill through the first thickness of the pipe take it away and then drill through the back that's the way i found best to approach it 
you see there got to directly spread the weight the real weight when you look at it is just on that nut on that um, screw but if you screw it up tight enough that should come into contact with that nicely and that will pull it in together as well and distribute that weight evenly all right there it is it's my suck eggs IBC tutor tutorial on a very simple do it in an hour and a half IBC phonics any questions or comments or anything post it and we'll have a conversation all right there was just something about this IBC that I didn't like and that was the lack of access to the fish or pumps or uh, heaters or plants that might be in there so what I've done I've had a bit of a brainstorm and decided to raise the bed up it's still got some support around the outside you can see in here and when you look at the other beds they don't really have all that much need for much support above that first rail so I'm thinking of putting in here about well, probably filling it up with gravel up to about there and then just leaving the rest of it fine I mean the bows in the walls here they will fill out as the gravel goes in and um, then you've also got heaps of access here to your fish or pumps or whatever else you want to put in there so I'm thinking that this is a much better way it's slightly higher than a conventional bed would be but then if that's an issue well get yourself a little three-step ladder like that I'm reasonably tall this is up to my armpit so I've got easy access to anything that might want to be growing in the bed um, pull access all the way around it of course so I don't think this is going to be such a problem and I think it probably looks a little bit better too it gives more access to your fish and a little bit of sunlight down there is not going to hurt either with any plants in that lemna duckweed water lettuce whatever you want to put in there so I'm thinking this is an improvement and I'm going to go ahead and make another one exactly the same <laughs>